The name of the experiment is Direct Shear Box Test. The gauges of the machine are used to determine the vertical loading, strain and horizontal loading values. The data obtained by the gauges is transferred to the computer. Before starting the test, shear box is removed. Remove the pins. There are two porous stone and three discs in the shear box. In order to be able to determine the amount of sand used in the test, weight the sample. Place the disc which will be in contact with sand. It provides shear stress on sand. The discs are placed in accordance with the direction of shear. Place sufficient sand in the shear box such that when the gouging disc is placed in position. Stop when the sand space rests on the top of the sand and its rim just touches the top of the box. Replace the gouging discs by the pressure plate. Locate the pins. Weigh the sample and take the difference between two measurements to determine the mass of the sand used. Mount the shear box on the loading machine. Set the yoke which carries the hanger on the top of the pressure plate. Fix the vertical deflection gauge in position and set it to zero. Do not forget to remove two locating pins before loading. Place on the hanger the weight necessary to give the desired normal stress. Start the machine and all data are collected by the computer. Repeat the test for three more samples. Shear displacement versus shear over stress graph will be drawn accordingly.